This is uh, the, uh, the barn. Uh, we have four separate stalls. This is a baby gate. Oh, it's a baby um, gate. So mom can be right here. And then once it was inside, uh, we can get a weight on it. So this is a big scale. The Nikita Khan Rhino Rescue Center at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park is all about saving rhinos from extinction. The new $3 million state-of-the-art facility has been home to six female southern white rhinos brought from South Africa late last year to potentially act as surrogates in the reproductive program. Me, One of the rhinos, Wallace, recently became a living example of the poaching crisis in Africa. She came to the center with a mysterious wound on her side that just wouldn't heal. After several recent exams, including an x-ray by the local bomb squad, Vets detected metal fragments. We're not 100% sure, but the way it's acting, the way the wound has been, we suspect that there's a possibility that this was a poacher's uh, attempt. The fragments may or may not be removed from Wallace. Vets are still exploring the safest options. What's amazing to consider is that these six rhinos that were brought over from South Africa is the same number of rhinos that would be poached in just two days. Michael Veal spends time every year in Africa working as an anti-poaching ranger. The work is tough, heartbreaking, and dangerous. There are some very routine syndicate type poachers that have a high cash payoff and they don't want to lose that sure. and they get violent over it and yeah. they're willing to take out rangers. I've lost, I've lost several friends mm -hmm. in the last couple of years to this. But with rising global awareness of the plight of endangered species, especially in Asia where demand for exotic animal products is high, advocates are holding out hope that collectively humans can make a difference to save the planet's wildlife. Mei Lee, CCTV at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park.